Hi, this is Professor Mike Strahan from Northern Michigan University, Lydia M. Olson Library. In this video, we are going to talk about how to format references in APA style 7th edition, specifically journal articles assigned a DOI. You can start either from the library homepage, which is where this video begins, or you can start to access the APA guide from within your program specific library course guide or the direct link that's inside of EDUCAT. So we're going to click on citation tools, go down to APA style guide 7th edition. The library will continue to maintain the 6th edition. These videos deal with the 7th edition. and we're going to scroll on down the reference examples appear on the first tab the other tabs that appear on this guide so far this is a guide that's continually re evolving we have an MLA style to AP style references conversion page help those of you that teach MLA or are used to MLA from English classes we also have an article reference explained. We'll have separate videos for that. Also how to format numbers, there's going to be additional links here to videos and things like that. So we're going to scroll down to the reference examples. I have general notes on the top of this guide that apply to all types of material. Then I'll have also specific notes for APA 7 showing differences, some of the differences between APA 6 and APA 7. Then we have different categories of material. We have articles, books, reports, web pages, course materials, which is a new format in APA 7. I have examples of how to reference different types of videos, visual works, blog posts, government resources, dictionaries, encyclopedias, diagnostic manuals such as DSM-5 and ICD-11 for health, legal materials, conference sessions, ERIC documents, theses, dissertations, data sets, and personal communications. In this video we're going to look at articles, specifically articles that are assigned DOI. Click on the accordion, gives us some notes about works with 20 authors, works with 20 or more authors. On the APA style 7th edition guide, I have reference examples and also how to cite that specific work in text. We're going to click on articles assigned to DOI, and this applies to both online and print versions, whether you got it online through a database directly from the publisher, or you have a print version you retrieve off the shelf, or you got it through interlibrary loan. It does not matter in regard to the DOI. The standard format for APA style is authors here, title of the article, title of the journal, and in this case the DOI. For one author or two authors, you're always going to list them on the reference list. Last name first, followed by first initial, middle initial when they use them. For two authors, you put the and side before the second author, that ends in a period. Put the year of publication, that ends in a period. The title of the article, capitalization rules are capital the first word of the title, capitalize the first word following a colon, that is the subtitle. In the source sentence, we have title of the journal, every significant word is capitalized, the title of the journal is also italicized, as is the volume number is italicized. APA 7 now requires that when an article is assigned an issue number, you provide that issue number. Always. Include that issue number in parentheses. It is not italicized. At the end of the source sentence is the pagination of the article. Not just what you use, but the entire run from beginning to end 
don't leave off any digits, use the full form of the numbers and a period. After that, you have the DOI. The format is HTTPS colon slash slash DOI.org slash followed by a 10, a period, four digits, a slash, and then the remainder of the DOI that's assigned by the publisher. In APA style 7, DOIs and URLs are underlined and they are in blue font. You can, if you want to, also have them in black font and not underlined. But APA 7, the editors decided to allow word processing software to automatically format and to use that automatic formatting. How to cite this work in text? Parenthetically, we have auth last names only. We have the first author, an and signed, and the second author, comma, followed by the year. Narrative format, you're including it as part of the sentence as opposed to the end of the sentence. You have the same author last names, but instead of using the and sign, you spell out the word A-N-D, and then you put the year in parentheses. If you're doing a direct quote, or if your instructor is asking you to include the page number for a parenthetical paraphrase citation, you would include the page number and the format is, in this case, Weiland's and sign Biederman, the year 2006, P period for the page number followed by the exact page number that you used, all in parentheses. For journal articles with 3 through 20 authors or any other works that have 3 through 20 authors, you're going to now list all of the authors. I have an example here for three. You list three authors, the title of the article, the title of the journal, volume, issue, page numbers, and the DOI. Here's where the change occurs. Beginning with three authors, the in-text citation is first author, et al., followed by the year. That's ET space AL period, comma, 2019 for the parenthetical. For the narrative, it is first author, et al., ET space AL period with the year in parentheses and then the direct quote is similar to the parenthetical with the page number at the end. When you have journal articles that are 21 or more authors you list the first 19 followed by an ellipse followed by the last author. So in this example we listed the first 19 authors. We have the ellipse and that last author format of the title of the article is the same. In this case we're using JAMA. Since the early 1960s JAMA has been the official name. It does not have a subtitle. It is called JAMA. Followed by the volume number, the issue number, and the full page numbers, and the DOI. And the in-text citation is the same as it was for three authors or more. First author at all followed by the year. Some journals are published online only and what they do is they use an article number, a document number, or what's called the e-locator in place of the page numbers. You can usually tell this because they'll just have one page number. It isn't to say that journal articles only go one page. We have editorials that usually run one page. Look at the article itself at the PDF, make sure how long it is. If it is only one page long, and you're pretty sure that it is an online only journal, then use this example. And I have a number of them. For this one, the publisher actually prefixed the article number with a lowercase e, and they also included an issue number. So we have our authors, we have the title of the article, the title of the journal, volume, issue numbers. When you're working with an online only journal in the pagination portion of the source sentence you provide the word article first letters capitalized so it's article followed by that e-locator or that article number and then provide the DOI. The difference is that when you are working with these PDFs of online only journals you don't indicate that article number when you're doing a direct quote. Instead you open up a PDF, you look at the page number that's indicated for that PDF and you provide that page number in your in-text direct quote citation. 
such as it here, page four. I also have an example where no issue number was provided. You just have the volume number followed by a comma and the article number. Also have a third example where the publisher uses the publication year for the volume number. APA says you provide it in two places. You provide it first as the year of publication and you also provide it in the volume position. And in this case followed by the article number. When you have a journal article that is a combination of both individuals and also an organization or group you provide them as they are listed. Sometimes they'll put the organization name first. If they do, you provide it first. In this case, it was provided at the end. It was the last one listed, the steering committee. The rest of the citation is the same. We also have an example for how to reference Cochrane reviews. Note that you no longer include an issue number with the Cochrane review. This and the reason for that is because this is the only place you can retrieve Cochrane reviews is through the database. You indicate the name of the database, the Cochrane database of systematic reviews, and you provide the full DUI for that resource. For an advanced online article, which is published online before print, usually they have not been assigned a volume number. You do indicate advanced online publication right after the journal title. If there was a volume number, you would also provide that. And most often though, like this example, there was no volume number assigned yet. So you, after the journal title, there's a period and then the phrase advance online publication. Because this didn't have any page numbers on the PDF, you treat it as if it was the same as you do a web page. You find the section heading, you put in that name of that section heading followed by the word section, then you count paragraphs below that. So in this case, this direct quote appeared on the fourth, in the fourth paragraph below the discussion section. If you have questions or problems trying to locate a DOI, we also have tools that will show you how to look up that information and also how to verify a DOI. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you.